hello guys you're welcome back to my channel today tutorial is going to be on this beautiful back keyhole so i used a velvet instead of a mesh or skin tone two so i did not use a two a net for this but you can use the two or this velvet or any fabric of your choice just the design is what we want right so i'll be using this velvet for the tutorial and if you're new to my channel please click on the subscribe button and join this family like and share my video it really means a lot to me please guys like and share this video okay so this is my back basic bodies without zipper allowance so there will not be need for zipper on this so there is no need for zip so i marked my shoulder divide by two which is eight but i marked seven because it's an off shoulder i mean no sleeve dress right so and the neck width i use is five inch because this is like a canoe neck and then the neck depth i use 2.5 you can use between two inch 2.5 or three inch if you can see the back of that dress it is low the neckline is low so this is my armhole depth which is 7.5 is 8 i might not have because it's a sleeveless and this is the bust point 10 and this is the half length and then i add two inches extended half length because of the way the back center back is a bit deep deeper than the side right so i added two inch for that okay because it's a bit deeper and then i also add half inch for joining of the um, upper bodies to the skirt or peplum whatever you are making right okay so this is my armhole i've already covered it i cover my neckline and i slant my shoulder by one inch and this is the dart half of your nipple nipple to nipple measurement which is four so i marked four here and i went up one inch above my bust line just normal back bodies just the way you can do your back bodies and then i took my measurement and i added two two inches sewing allowance to that okay two inches then on the waist i added three inch because of the that right so just the way you, you can you draft your normal back bodies that is what you do so what we are focusing here is the keyhole at the back right so let's do that so i'm going to cut this out before I will show you how to draft the keyhole okay so you can also do this directly on your fabric or if you're using it if you're using a tool a net material you know it's going to be a little bit difficult to mark on so but if I'm, if you can do that is fine but if you can't you can use your pieces a pieces and do this then transfer it to your net or you use a paper or pattern to cut this and then transfer it to your net or you cut directly on your fabric okay so now I'm going to cut out this so what I marked here is two inches okay plus half inch sewing allowance that you use to join to the skirt or peplum whatever you're making right so now what I'm going to do is to mark the keyhole so you can either use a curve ruler from here and curve your keyhole or you use a free hand right okay so this is my curve ruler you can place it like this like this okay place it this way and then you curve your keyhole to this edge but i'm not going to be using this because i know that many of us don't have this curve ruler so i'm going to be doing the free hand so that in case if you don't have a curve ruler you can use your free hand and cut it okay so but you can use your curve ruler if you have it to make it easier and beautiful for you okay so but i'll be using free hand so first of all i'm going to use this chalk that is not too clear to draw it then i'll use a chalk that is uh, clearer than this to highlight it so um, you kind of draw it like this as if you're making a canoe okay just this way as if you're drawing a canoe up to this edge right okay just like this hope you are seeing what i'm doing so let me get the curve ruler and see if it's matched up yeah as you can see it matches up just a little bit difference is a little bit deeper here than the curve ruler so it's a little bit deeper on this side it's a little bit deeper okay so but i'm going to kind of reduce it to be a little not too deep okay so i'll redraw it like this so this is what we are going for okay so i'll use my chalk now to highlight it this is what we are going for 
okay so this is it just very simple to make just like this and then i am going to cut this out So guys, if you're using a tool, no need for your dart. If you're using a net, no need for adding that. Okay, because it will not look good if you use that on a tool. So, but if you're using any fabric, you have a uh, fabric like this, like uh, velvet or Ankara, you need to use your dart. Okay. So in order to curve the side, you know that the half length is 16 so it has to correspond with the half length of your front panel so this is 16 normal half length for this person so i'm going to mark half inch here at the side seam okay so that the front and the back will correspond well just at the center back is where we are going to have the deep the uh, extended length so you curve from here to this point okay so i'm going to use chalk to show you now so you're going to connect from here like this to this point okay just like this and that is all guys so you now cut this out so this is just for you to have your the extended half length at the center back the center back okay the picture is on the screen now is a bit deeper okay it's a bit deeper at the center back but the side and the side of the front has to align together so that is why i do it this way okay okay so that is that so now i'm going to show you how i'm going to cut my bias the fabric i'll use to pipe the keyhole okay so let's see what we have so this is it can you see how beautiful this is? I'm really going to make this one. In fact, I regretted why wasting this, would I call it a waste? Wasting this fabric. I would have used a real um, uh, Ankara to do this turning so that I would be able to use it and make a skirt and then, you know, complete the sewing. So a dress for myself complete. But the pieces I use for the piping it's not much like i said it's a pieces of fabric okay so now let me show you this is it i'm going to use this to pipe the keyhole and the armhole side okay so i'm going to cut this in a bias form i'm not going to cut it like this i'll cut it in a bias form okay okay so i will cut this in a bias form not like this i'll cut it in a bias form this way so i'm going to mark it and i'll show you guys so here is it i've marked it i marked 1.5 inch and i'm cutting four pieces of this 1.5 to 1 1.7 what am i saying 1.75 that is what i marked okay one point almost two inch okay so i'm going to cut this out and i'll show you how i'm going to pipe the keyhole and the armhole with it all right so what i'm going to do is to get this so before you pipe your keyhole you sew your dart you sew your dart and then turn the neckline here with a bias strip turn the neckline with a bias tip here turn the neckline turn from the right side and then you turn over to the wrong side and top stitch you know how to turn the neckline now normal normal so here for the keyhole this is the wrong side of this and this is the right side okay this is the wrong side i'm going to fold it like this okay and then i'll place it this way and so and so up to this point okay and then i'll come back and show you what next to do so guys this is it i've torn one the ham hole and the key hole you can see how neat it is on the inside right so let me show you how i achieved this So this is it, this one. Like I said, you place on the wrong side and sew, and then you turn it over. After you must have torn your neckline first, okay? And sew your dart, okay? After you turn your neckline. So, but if you're using a tool, there's no need for turning of your neckline. You leave it like that, okay? Then you fold this inside like this. If you're using a tool, don't turn the neckline. Fold in inside like this, 
and then you turn like this and you top stitch top stitch down did you see how easy this is so this is the final look of our keyhole back thank you guys for watching so all you need to do for this is to just join it to your skirt or your peplum okay and leaving your zipper allowance in between and here you're going to use a pressing button to add it up here then you press it down you know that's the neckline like i said if you're using a tool no need for turning of your neckline and no need for that if you're using a tool no need for that okay thank you guys for watching like and share my video and see you in my next tutorial please subscribe to this channel bye